the airline industry. We all remember that incident on the United Airline flight where passengers were was dragged out. And there have been a flurry of uh, articles about the airline industry since. And there was one by Nelson Schwartz in the New York Times that I thought explained certain things very well. He traces the behavior of the airline industry all the way to Wall Street. Now that's so for a, a lot of companies, I mean, all, all publicly traded companies, but it is more so for the airline and has been more so, uh, particularly in the last five years, he says. And a part of that has to do with the fuel cost and the fact that it is one large element of, of their cost which they do not control. Now there was a time in the airline industry where uh, what was priority for them were things like um, the planes being on time, luggage loss, the number of complaints, but recently it's it's the metrics, as it's called, is focused on the short-term short -term gains. And because that affects the uh, price of the stock. And of course, that is what, uh, what matters uh, to, to Wall Street. So the expectations and the needs of the investors are much more important to the airline industry than they were in, in the past. Now, in order to generate higher profits, and we all know what, is, what has happened, we're having more and more people packed into a, um, into a plane, and we're having less, uh, less leg room, and, um, and a lot of frills and so forth have, have been taken away. Now, that turns out that it, it, a lot of people want costs, 35% of the uh, uh, of the public that were surveyed they buy airline ticket ticket best solely on price and there's another 35 percent that's mostly on price so the idea of how much an airline seat cost is very important not only to consumers therefore but also to the executive of the airline companies and that is one reason why this is one thing that without investing capital for new planes they can squeeze more people they can you know, massage their assets sort of like within the, within the airplane. A lot of people in the industry say, expect more of this kind of behavior. Of course, another uh, aspect of airline behavior that has increased revenue at the expense of consumer are fees. And uh, fees are something that they can count on because it's not more flexible like um, uh, fuel cost. So we're to expect more of the same, more fees, um, less leg room, more being packed more into an airplane. So if we are to, um, to change this, it's going to have to be up to us. Now there's one fact about the airline industry that I, I, I realize as I'm, as I'm doing this that I forgot to tell you, was that their profit margin is really incredible. It is, as a whole, as an industry, it's 16.3%, when five years ago it was 5.2%. And one of the, uh, the biggest uh, profit margin is Spirit Airline, which is one of the low-cost airlines. And for them, the profit margin was about 20%. Uh, so if we want the airline industry to change, if we want them to be more consumer friendly, even though from a PR point of view, they say that they want to do that, then we're going to have to do it ourselves. We're going to have to uh, make complaints, make demands, organize, uh, pressure them in some way to, to do what uh, is best for us. Otherwise, we're going to continue to be squeezed and expected to behave more and more like sardines. And I think I'm a person. And I know you are too. Thank you for listening. I'm Danielle Levy.